Welcome to part one. These are the basics. I understand not everybody's basics are the same. Your basics may be different from the other students that I have. Your idea of what is easy may be different from somebody else's idea of what is easy, but I can assure you that if, let's go ahead and, and, and kind of give you an overview. In order for me to do really anything when it comes to drawing cartoons or or comics or whatever it is that I want to draw most things can be broken down into really simple shapes and I'm, you've probably heard this before cylinders boxes and you see I'm keeping this loose and messy just really simple shapes most things can be turned into simple shapes the more that you understand about these shapes, the better off that you are going to be. But before you understand the 3D portion of these shapes, and you may already understand that, it's always a good idea just to work with the basics. And basics are, you wanna make your circles and your ovals, S curves, C curves, you're gonna learn what all that stuff is. And you wanna learn how to put them together. Once you learn how to put that together, you then can start to make your own characters. You can start with just some basic generic looking characters that'll give you the fundamentals and the theories behind creating your own characters in your own style. That's what I want for you in this first part. When I originally made this course, I was teaching coloring and inking way at the end, but I decided no, I want you to learn that in part one because that's a valuable skill that'll allow me to put way more information in parts two and I believe part three. So this is gonna be your starting. Sometimes the basics may not be terribly exciting, but I try to be, I try to be a little bit humorous and I try not to take everything so seriously. You're gonna make mistakes, you're gonna mess up, it's okay. Just keep drawing and keep having fun. This is all about those basics. This first little section right here, I really do want you to follow along because I think you may surprise yourself at how much that you re retain and how much information that you, how much information that you can then can keep and how much, how many characters you can actually recreate. This is, I'm taking you through a process in this first little part. Then once we have established the fact that you can draw simple little shapes and lines and just make simple little eyes and characters, then we're gonna go back and we're gonna go just a little bit deeper and you're gonna learn a little bit of the theory behind what you're doing. Then from there, we're gonna move on and you're going to learn a little bit more about how to put a really simplified body onto your character. And you're gonna there then learn how to color and ink and you're gonna have little projects that you're gonna do based on characters that you're gonna have the worksheets for and they will be in the appropriate area. So welcome to part one. Hope you have some fun. If you have any questions at any time, don't forget to post them and I'll see you in the